much. I want to tell you uh, about something that really needs your attention, human trafficking and homelessness. We, we know this has taken a toll on our young women, not just here in America, but throughout the world. But I want you to know there are warriors out there, defenders working to support those young women who have had so much taken from them. This is a group called The Teen Project. The group describes itself as a parent to the parentless, helping give young women without resources a chance at life. Today, I introduce to you Lori Burns, who is the CEO of The Teen Project. Lori, it's a real delight to meet you. Um, I heard about The Teen Project, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. I need to know about this organization. <laughs> you specifically focus on at-risk young women, right? What are we yes, talking we, about? We, uh, all across the United States? All across the United States, yes. Mm -hmm. And some even in other countries. We've had kids call us from other countries, and we respond. And, and it's not just the kids calling you, because often the onus can't be put on them to reach out or even to find out about your services. You, you actively go out kind of looking to help. Yes, we do a lot of outreach. And um, because I was one of the kids that was trafficked myself and I was um, brought up in tech, that was my industry, we use a lot of technology to find the kids because that's where kids live these days is on. You're on looking the for these kids. That's yeah. the thing. So mm -hmm. oftentimes we don't think about the fact that these are kids that are taken, right? And that they are their loved ones. They're, they're young people who had people looking for them right. and want to know where they are. And there's often others who fall through the cracks. Yes, well, a lot of them are kids that have fell through the cracks. I don't think people are aware how many of the human trafficking victims in the United States are from foster care. 60% of the trafficking victims in our great country come straight from foster care because they're still going homeless at 18 and there are no Amber Alerts for foster kids. I, I tell people that and they're like, what? Yes, they do not allow Amber Alerts for a foster child. So on any given day, there are hundreds of thousands of kids leaving their foster home because of more abuse and walking out to the street and there's no one looking for them except for the parents. That absolutely gutted so me. That absolutely gutted affordable. me, the notion that there is not an Amber Alert for, for a foster youth who goes right. missing. Is the idea is that, well, they just run away all the time and, you know, we can't, we can't be the doing an alert is, every time a kid yeah. goes missing. Right. Well, if there was an alert for foster kids that were missing, your phone would ring all day long. Honey. And um, I don't think social services wants that kind of exposure. So um, there is no, and I hate to down the service, but I care about the kids and I'm rescuing the kids. And we've seen too many die out there without anyone looking for them. So yes, there are no Amber Alerts. And that's why um, we came to you with what we're doing. We we're partnering with Microsoft. We're going big this year. Good, good. In a movement called The Time for Talk is Over. Yep. Because we are, we are seeking to change all of the legislation that's blocking these kids from actually getting safety. Because and in a way, it's almost as though they don't have rights. They don't have rights. They're, they call it emancipation when you leave foster care. If you Google that, it's something about leaving slavery to freedom. But I got to tell you, an 18-year-old with no cell phone, no mom and dad, uh, no money, walking out to the streets is prime yeah. for a man that has money and willing to do whatever they have to do to get back in a warm place and get food in their belly. And by so, the way, they know um, that. These these Lori, that. these predators yeah. know that. They they know. They know that. They know yes. that these are prime targets, right? So they're yes. it's almost like fishing in a bucket for them. And that's such a horrible thing to say about about young people and kids, but it, they, they they they're they're easy targets. They are. And I don't know if people know this, but um, Lindsay Snyder who oversees the Nalberger Foundation had a pimp on um, the, a video of a pimp and he was explaining that if they have daddy issues if they have you know he goes through all the vulnerable um things that a person might have that would be prey to um a human trafficker and they know what they're looking for they go they out and get them and i've got to say that i don't know if you've seen it the canadian women's foundation came up with this hand signal if you're trafficked yes and it has actually worked to save some kids recently that were trafficked and 
Super Bowls coming up. So, right you know, that was something that we, we heard yeah. about. And I want you to help us understand what is that play? Cause, so we're very proud to be hosting Super Bowl here in Los Angeles. But you want to make people aware of a vulnerability that exists. What is happening in the shadows of Super Bowl that we don't know about? Well, I'll tell you right now, if you Google Super Bowl and human trafficking, you'll know real quick that it's always been there. But just like everything else with these kids, it's kind of hidden that there are pimps coming from everywhere all over the United States, bringing girls in and they're forced to um, put themselves out there all day, every day for the period of time, the two or three days that everyone's here for Super Bowl. And it is everywhere. And I'm so glad we have the hand signal now so we can let someone know and if you're scared to get involved just call the police call someone get involved in any way you can um it is huge there are more kids trafficked on super bowl than any other day of the year that is and a devastating a fact event. that's a devastating right. effect Mm -hmm. So right. talk to me about um, th this app that you guys are launching. How does it work? Right. I understand that you're, this technology is, is proving to be a real asset to you. And I'm so glad you're using your smarts and your connections there in Silicon Valley to, to, to figure this out. So it, it, it can get victims off the street quickly and also to safety. Immediately. Right. So there's never been uh, a real-time bed system for, for, human, for anyone, homeless, traffic, someone in need, someone that's being abused at home. There's never been a real-time system like Hotels.com. And it's always been in my brain that we need to create something like this. If I can buy a pair of socks on Amazon, it says we have three <laughs> pair. And then I buy one, it says we have two pair. This right. is simple math. So yeah. I got rid of it. I said, I'm like, I'm tired of treating the wounded. I have 126 beds for girls right now, and it's growing. Um, but I'm treating the wounded. I'm not ending the war. We need to end the war now. I am very tired of sight. So started building this app that my vision that um, girls on the street don't have to search and call numbers anymore. They can book a bed just like hotels.com. And I started building it and Microsoft got a hold of me and said, we, we saw amazing, what you're doing and we're Lori. in love with it. This has never happened before. Lori, look at so you. We are launching safe site now. Um, it will launch right around the time of Super Bowl. Okay. Where girls can go out. You can see the bed you're going to be sleeping in and you can book it. And we're looking for a ride share partner. And to get you there to that bed safely, safely. right. Uh, Lori, can I just say, um, yeah. when I say that there's warriors out there trying to, to fight and defend these girls, that's what you are, darling. Don't oh, give up. I, I can hear your girl, frustration, please. your anger, yeah. but I also can yeah. hear your passion and I hear the yeah. love. And I don't want you to ever, like, when you need a, I'll, I'll be your hype man. You come here and I'll give you the hype yeah. up that you need so that you can keep doing this. We're sharing Thank the message you. here. Google the Teen Project if you want to be a part of it. But if not, if you missed the, the URL, go to our website, foxla.com slash links. Our producers did their best to make sure that information is up there for you so you can link to it and find a way that you can be a support to this effort because again this is happening right under our eyes right under our noses Lori keep on doing it girlfriend thank you thank you for having me thank you for supporting us big hugs and the best of the season to you